Hello statisticians! This video is going to take a look at section 7.1 and provide some Excel tips that are going to help in finding areas and Z values around the standard normal curve. There's two commands with the standard normal curve that we're going to use today. One is equals norm.s.dist with the Z value comma true in parentheses. That'll give us the area to the left of that Z value. The other one is equals norm.s.inv for inverse, and then probability. And that's going to give us the probability to the left is associated with what z value. Because both of these only work to the left, it's helpful to draw a picture with each problem to help us make sure we're finding the correct area. So for this first one, we want to find the area to the left of z equals negative 1.3. And so what I'll do is I'll sketch a quick normal curve. z is 0 in the middle. And negative 1.3 is off to the left of that, and I want the area to the left. Well, that's exactly what the standard normal curve command in Excel is going to do. So we can just say equals norm.s.dist, open a parenthesis, put the z value of negative 1.3, comma, and then we're always going to write true and close the parentheses. When I do that, I find out the probability, or area to the left, is 0 0.0968. Now that's a little different than the next example, where I want to find the area to the right of 0.76. So here's my normal curve that I'm sketching on some scratch paper. Zero's in the middle, 0.76 is off to the right of that, because it's positive. And I want the area to the right of that z value. The problem is, is when I use the Excel command, it's going to give me the area to the left. And so what we're going to want to do is use the complement. So I'm going to type in equals 1 minus and subtract off the area to the left from 1.0. Now we have norm.s.dist, open a parenthesis. The z value is 0 0.76, comma, true. And now, because I did 1 minus, it's going to give me the area to the right, which is 0.2236. It's always good to take a quick look to see if it makes sense. 0.22 is less than half, and I've shaded less than half of this normal distribution, so I think that sounds like a reasonable solution. This third example wants to find the area between two values. And so if I draw my little normal curve on my scratch paper, we've got a negative 1.87 and a 2.4. And we want the area between those two values. Well, if I put in the 2.4, it's going to give me all the area to the left of the 2.4. And we want to exclude the area in the tail to the left of 0.87, which means I can subtract the two areas. In other words, we'll say equals norm.s.dist, open a parenthesis, and we're going to use the 2.4, the one furthest to the right, comma true, and close the parentheses. And then I'm going to subtract, hit minus, what the normal distribution would give me to the left of 1.87, because that's all the white section I don't want. Norm.s.dist, negative 1.87. I didn't put the negative on my picture. I should have comma true. And when I hit Enter, it's going to give me the area between the negative 1.87 and the 2.4 is 0 0.9611 when I round. Now, if we already know the area, all we need to do then is use the inverse function to find the z value that goes with it. So on this next example, if I draw a quick picture, we want 45% area to the left. 45% area to the left is less than half, and so it's going to be something like this. So I know the answer is going to be negative. Now, because that area is to the left, I can just use the normal standard inverse function. Type in equals norm.s.inv for inverse, because with the inverse, I already know the probability is 0.45. 
when I hit enter, that'll tell me that the z value is negative 0.12566. Negative, just like we expected. Now we got to be careful with the other one because it wants the area to the right, 82% to the right. And so that's more than 50%. So we want 82% to the right. The problem is the inverse function only goes to the left. So if 82% is to the right, subtracting from 100, I know there's 18% left in the left tail. Because with Excel, we only work with the left tail of the normal distribution. So I can say equals norm dot s dot inv, open a parentheses, and the area to the left that I want is 0.18. And when I hit enter, I see a z value of negative 0.91537. We'll put 82% to the right and 18% to the left. Again, with the normal distribution, it really helps to take the time to draw the picture so you make sure you're on the correct side of the distribution. Because the Excel will always give you area to the left or probabilities to the left. It's your turn to practice some of these. Good luck.